Welcome to the video my friends, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Today we have another DayZ mod video and another base building mod for you that will be seen on the Aftermath servers. So I've got Smoking Bro taking me through on this update of the mod and it's pretty interesting. We have all new base building parts and new assets for the base building parts once they're in your hand. Nice little box with logos and logos on the inventory so you know exactly what part you hold in your hand. Whereas the default DayZ you just have the kit. They all look pretty similar. But this has new boxes and uh, a workbench, which I thought was actually really interesting. You load the tools in individually into the chest and then you can craft different things depending on that. And you have to replace the tools once they're worn out and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. I thought I'd show you as well as destruction on the base. Proper destruction. There's actually rubble <laughs> that appears and sound effects and everything and smoke particles when you destroy a wall on a base. And I thought this was a great touch that's not been done yet so far. Of course, we go over who was actually you know, involved in making these mods, which was quite a few people, but Smoking goes through the people involved. So kudos to those guys, the super talented modding community, always impressed. And just let me know what you think about the rubble on raiding a base now, where it all collapses and there's a wood effect and a, and a stone effect, depending on the base part and material that was used. It, it, I'm just blown away each time they take it. Next level, next step, next level, each time with these mods and still so excited for the future of daisy mod and it's still only the very early stages still i believe there's there's much more to come and much more mods to cover but for now i'll leave you with smoking bro taking us through this new base building mod that will be on the aftermath servers for you to try out yourselves very soon enjoy basically so if you press tab yep um you put everything that you need for ingredients in that storage area there okay and then the tools go in the little circles. So if you pre if you go and press F on it. Oh, yes. And then if you click on each individual thing, you can spin it around as well and stuff in the preview. And um, basically on the right hand side, it shows you what tools it requires and uh, what ingredients. But the first okay. thing you want to do is get a plot pole because you won't be able to place any of those other items without a plot pole. Okie dokie. So you'll need a, a stick, a long stick, and scrap metal. So put that in the storage. So press tab, put that in the storage, and put the scrap metal in the storage. And then if you go, press F, and then go to... Yep. Uh, plot pole. Pop yeah, and then click craft. And then come out. And there's your plot pole. Nice. So then just place that down. Going to rotate it? So... Uh, yeah, you can, but wherever you place this is where it's going to have to stay. You're not going to yep. be able to move it afterwards. But no other player can uh, destroy it or remove it, and you can't just destroy it or remove it either. So wherever it stays is where it's going to be. Okay, mouse wheel to rotate, and then just same as everything else, hold to place. Yes. Oh, I placed it the wrong way around, by the way. Well, that's all right. Rarely tested it. <laughs> Just drag them to any of the circles. They'll go into the slot automatically. Press tab. Yep, there we go. I got it. So when these um, tools are being used to craft stuff, yeah. In whatever ingredients they're needed in, they'll take damage as well over time. So you'll need to keep checking them and repair them like you would normally. Does the hatchet go in there as well? Uh, no, that's just for you to. Okay, I think I've got that's... I've got a code lock on your shoulders and a toolbox on your shoulders. It's like... Oh, there we go. Uh, and your shoulder. Toolbox, I'll show you what the toolbox is for in a minute. Oh, that's awesome. Now they, they go on the actual tool rack and the underneath. Yeah. And on the table. So, right, if you want to build a wood floor. Uh, let's have a look which were wood wall, wood floor, window, window, window. Oh, there we go. Floor. There we go. Yep. And click craft. And then there it is. So basically, when you're in, you won't have the snapping need snapping now, obviously, because it's your first part. But yeah, to go from free build to snapping, you press X. 
Yeah. So if you just want to stick that down random area, where have you gone? Nice. That's pretty cool as well, actually, that you can uh, just place them and not have to build them with a hammer. Like, the, the table yeah, kills the whole kit. Yeah, as you know, in, like, uh, vanilla, when you get to, like, second story stuff and you, you don't know where you're putting the logs half the time. But with this, it's uh, pretty simple. Uh, they, we tried to put, like, images on so they're quite recognisable as well. So stop if you stop for a minute, then build that. Yep. So get get it in its snap position. Yep. And then if you scroll, you see that you've got a green side and a red side. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, the green side you want facing inwards, and the yep. red side you want facing outwards. Okay, yeah. That's pretty cool, then. Yeah. Also, it shows you which way you know it helps you with which way doors open and stuff because it's not yeah, that's easy a to pretty see nice touch. Around. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've done, I've done that loads of times. <laughs> Built stuff inside out, and then I'm like, oh my god, that wall looks awkward. Yeah, uh, I hate it. Yeah. OCD kicks in. Pretty nice window as well. Nice big size to shoot out of. Yeah, you can put code locks on these. Oh, I see. Attach code. Oh, that's a lot more intuitive yeah. than, yeah, left click to attach. Let's put your code in twice. There we go. Is it just zeros? Yep, so that'll just be uh, assigned to you, so you don't have to keep unlocking it or anything. Uh, if you come awesome. outside as well, it doesn't show on the outside, it just shows on the inside. Oh, they, the yep, that's code. pretty cool. If you press J, it'll show you the uh, who's in your radius, and then you should see my name in invites list. So if you put that in the snap position, then scroll. Oh yeah, got it. Yeah, you yeah. can change which direction you want it to be in. You just be careful you don't snap it yeah. to the wall by mistake. There yeah, tried to the first time I got it this time. Nice. Yeah, it's a much better system. Like doing it on the on the workbench and then pop it straight up, no hammer in for yeah. ages and dragging and dropping. Also as well, material. I know. You've had your own servers and stuff, and when people build things wrong, and you get a lot of uh, support tickets to mm -hmm. come and remove certain items. Uh, do you have a toolbox on you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you put that in your hand, and then go up to any part, and then look at it, you can dismantle it. Oh, nice. Yeah. So And, and you get the kit back as well. So if you make mistakes, or you want to change your base, you can just you know, be at your feet. You can get it and replace it. So basically, for your own plot pole that has unlimited uses, that toolbox. But if an enemy was to come in and use a breaching charge to get through one of your exterior walls, yeah, um, they can use that toolbox for up to three uses to dismantle from the inside only. Okay. So if so, if you drop it for me. Yep. If I go here, I can't. I don't get the dismantle option at all from the outside. That's what. That's the idea of the green and the red uh, hologram as well. Oh, I see. Yeah. So if the red's outside, that that tells yeah. other players no, you can't do that. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. So, but if it's inside, so if I get in here, if I blow this wall that would imagine yeah. here, and I get inside, I can I can then dismantle it. But then. If I do it as an enemy, this will take damage, and then it has you can't be repaired either. So it has three uses, and then it's destroyed on the third. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. So it's not you know if someone doesn't get in, and you're able to totally dismount someone's face completely because it's a bit unless uh, a bit disheartening. They, if unless you... they find your storage full of toolboxes. <laughs> yeah, unless they've got a hundred toolboxes, but yeah. these are going to be lootable only, and there's, Rip base. You know, they're going to be kind of. Um, they're not going. They're kind of going to be a thing you're going to want to keep hold of because for your own basing and dismantling stuff. So, do you want to use it to raid, or do you want to keep it for for use in your own base building, basically? So, 
Uh, as I was saying before, so say if you want to add me to your plot poll, if you press J. Yeah, I see you. Should, sh should show you in the members and me in the invite. Yeah, invite. So wh whoever's in the invite is in your plot poll radius. You won't be able to do that to anybody on the server. It's just when they're in your yeah. radius. So if you want your friend to be on, they come into your radius, you press J. Click invite and come out of it. And yep. then I should be able to press J then. They won't be able to press J, you see, until they're on the plot poll and then they can ah, see. I and see. They can leave and i think i uh, need the plot pole owner can kick people as well so now you put me on i should be able to i should be able to build stuff look yeah awesome so you won't be able to build in anybody else's plot pole radius either unless you're on the plot pole uh you'll be able to place stuff like mines bear traps and stuff outside people's bases though if you want and uh breaching charges obviously these are like the cinder parts Oh yeah, see the uh, the ghost as well uh, is different texture on it as well. Yeah. So wood can be shot through, and a yeah, cinder it's, and metal it's, are good. It's not yeah, it's not bulletproof wood, but cinder and metal are. And also with the breaching charges, wood will take one breaching charge. Well, you can set it up however you want, really. You can, yeah. But at, we are, we're going to be having it so wood is one breaching charge and cinder is two. But we're also going to be making a... It's going to be on a hardcore server too. Which is going to be uh, probably a little bit different. Oof, nice. Now, this part here always seems to get a, a reaction out of people. <laughs> um, but it was my idea to have this and... They slated me for it. But you know, in like other mods and stuff like Armour 2... Yeah. When you have a Ural yeah. or something, and you've got a normal garage, and it clips on the top of the garage yeah. door or something, and you, have, you struggle getting it in and out. You might want to just place that freehand somewhere. Cause... So it's a, a double wide, double tour. Yeah, it's like it's basically four times the size. Yeah, so you can get your big vehicles in, especially if there's a big yeah. modded vehicle. Yeah, you could, uh, so... like a monster truck, which I've not seen a proper monster truck yet, but if you got one... That's true. We've got the door for it. Yeah. That's good thinking, that. Those now. Oh, tank traps, yeah. So, tank traps will be um, parts of recipes as well for metal, like, garage doors and stuff. But you can also place them like that. And you know, on some servers, I don't know if it's going to be fixed fully in 1.09, but... I mean, you could put them around the base of your base, stop people trying to glitch in with cars and yeah. stuff. Or even on the roof, stop people landing with helis. And you got sandbags, corners, round, short, yep. different sizes. These are all in the recipes of the uh, workbench as well. So you can craft all of these from the workbench. And you'll just craft yeah. one of these kits that you've deployed. And sandbags That's pretty awesome. Are as well. Yeah, so every part that you placed in here has a... Basically, you'll get a price on this plot ball. I can get you some some monies. Okay, yeah, lifetime, 13 days, price $4, and then repair. Yeah. And what it's set to at the moment is um, it's basically $17 per day per part. Yeah. That that will increase by. It will increase like, you know, by the minute or by the hour, gradually up to that point. And then when it gets to 14 days, obviously you'll be paying the maximum amount if you don't pay it. If you don't pay it, everything you see here will delete and it'll just leave the storage. Oh no. Leave the store. It'll just leave the storage items. So, you know, some like people leave the server. And you've got an eye on a base and you know it's been abandoned. It'll delete after two days and then it'll leave the storage for people to go in and take the stuff if they want. And then after that 24 hours, all the storage inside the plot pole radius will be deleted along with the plot pole itself. So it'll keep the server nice and clean, reduce the amount of times we have to wipe it. And also with this system, it kind of keeps players proactive and maintaining their base. And for bigger clans, it's going to be harder because they're going to have bigger bases. 
but if you're like a lone wolf and you've got like a one by one it's not going to cost you a lot to maintain yeah. yourself that's a good idea i like that keep people active and yeah gonna lose it all and keep the server performance top shape so this last section of footage shadowplay decided to corrupt all my audio so we've had to go in and record again so i apologize Obviously, we want to give credit to Shix, Pope Leo, Camino, and Sergeant Badger, who did the base building parts. Pretty impressive stuff. Now, this is the bit that really impressed me. The debris, the particle effects, and the sound effects on destroying a base, whether it be with the new chainsaw, which needs fuel, or with the C4, the breaching charge, which are very impressive, as you'll see. Yeah, it's for... To, do, to de destroy, basically, the ammo inside, a full ammo inside the chainsaw is 5,000 and it takes 3,750 to destroy a wood wall and 7,500 to do a cinder wall. Okay. And um, it'll take roughly seven and a half minutes to do a wood and about 15 to do a cinder. But obviously, just for test purposes, this is just doing it quick. This won't be how quick it is in game. Looks good. All right. Still can't believe so they managed the... to put rubble on there. That's... Yeah, Leo's done that. He's done a good job. Really good. And it should do the same with the uh, breaching charges. These will take about the same time, two minutes to plant, five minutes to go off. It takes one to destroy a wood wall and two to do a cinder. Oh, that was awesome. Got a strike. So it should take two. So if you want to place one as well at the same time, you can place them both at the same time. Fine. Love the oh, particle yeah. effects as well, sort of flying yeah, up in the air. Yeah. Like from a distance, seeing somebody raiding a base, that looked pretty awesome. All the bits flying everywhere in the rubble. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you guys watching these mod updates and showcases. It means a lot, and I'm, I'm really proud and happy of, of what the modding community are achieving within DayZ. Leave a like if you enjoy the video, and subscribe if you want to see more, of course. Don't forget that I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time.